This time on Ivy Built Boost. Not for the motor, just so we can stop better. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to mount this power booster. It goes right here. This is where the single master cylinder mounted. Uh, it mounted with these two bolt holes right here. They're at an angle from these two. These two bolts actually hold on the brake pedal assembly inside. First thing we need to do, take the brake pedal assembly out. And once we get it out, I'll open up the instructions on the new brake booster and uh, show you why we had to take that out because there are some modifications we have to do to that. I'm lucky today because Colin gets to do the work. Wait, what? Oh yeah, buddy. It's on you. Here, socket, ratchet. Take these two bolts off right here. Gosh. And set them up here, and I'm gonna go get you a socket for that. Stand up and do that. I'll be back. Put it here and pull it there, then you get better leverage on it. Like that. All right, so what you're doing that, I'm gonna be under here, making sure that there's no wasps. Mm -hmm. There, hold on. Aha! All right, cool. So, uh, a couple bolts on the inside, and these two bolts out here. We took this out. We're gonna go modify this. Let's get after it. What? Okay. We're gonna undo this bolt and hopefully, and take this spring off right here, which I can do by hand. And then we have to modify this brake pedal. So there's the pin. We definitely need to grease that thing up a little bit. Here's the housing. There's these bushings in here. They're super dry, but we're gonna clean this up and get it greased up real good. And it'll be like brand new. So these right here are the ones for our truck. It says drill new hole and brake arm pedal one inch below the original push rod hole, see diagram. And then it's got this little diagram here where it's, you know, you're supposed to go down. Apparently this brake booster is angled. And then down here it says approximately one inch lower than hole B, bad position above booster center line. Basically, we have the brake pedal arm. We have this hole right here where the original booster uh, went. And so one inch down, even though this is kind of angled, I'm gonna go from here. I'm not gonna go this way or that way. I'm just gonna go straight down the pedal, one inch, and I'm gonna drill a hole approximately right around in there somewhere. And then we're going to uh, put it back together. I got my dial calibers. I got them set at one inch, and that's what I'm gonna use to measure this. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it in the middle here. Again, they weren't super specific. I mean, that looks middle of the pedal. That's middle of that hole. Right there should be good. Put those away, cap this off, chuck up the drill, right there. Flip it on and here we go. We got ourselves. Man, that was the easiest hole I ever done drilled. So I'm gonna grease this up. We're gonna put it back together and go from there. I'm gonna take some of this grease, coat the inside of this bad boy. Slide that bushing in, the other bushing in right here. Beautiful. Put this back in there, tighten this all up. Find my uh, spring, there it is, beautiful. Now we can go put it back in the truck and get to mounting the brake booster. There goes my firewall paint job, oh well. And then I'll go back in the cab and I'll snug those up. And then we're going to bolt on 
the master cylinder. What the heck is this thing? This is a new master cylinder. This was the original master cylinder. This is a single pot master cylinder. This truck had four wheel drum brakes, but it only had one line coming out of it. And that one line was teed off to feed all four brakes. So now what we have is we have this. It's got two lines coming out of it. One here, one here. Uh, and then it's got a proportioning valve. That proportioning valve is set up for front disc, rear drum. Basically, you have one line that goes to the front brakes and you will get more pressure to the front brakes because the front brakes typically do 75 to 80% of the work in stopping a vehicle. And then you have one that goes to the rear where that increases safety is if you get a leak in the front brakes, you're still gonna have some rear brakes. It's like two totally separate braking systems. This big round thing is a vacuum booster. This has a port on it. You just have a big piece of fuel line or vacuum line that runs over and pulls manifold vacuum uh, either off a port in the intake or at the base of the carburetor and it's always pulling vacuum and what it does when you put your foot on it it's vacuum assisted because the vacuum is there it's already pulling against this big diaphragm in here and it just make it, makes it significantly easier to push in this pedal and stop the vehicle again adding to the safety of the vehicle. So we have these two bolts right here that hold on the uh the brake pedal assembly on the inside we are not going to be using these holes right here which held on the uh, master cylinder originally and i am not going to put them on because if i do then i will actually catch on those bolt heads and it will not mount in flat what it says to do is to put this on and we're just going to use these two original bottom bolts. You need four sets of hands. That looks pretty good. Does that look straight? Uh-huh. It does? Uh-huh. You don't even care, do you? Let's take this bad boy off, see what we got. So my daughter, who's an amazing artist, she has paint brushes and she had some white acrylic paint. It's the only thing I could think of without making a mess of the whole firewall where I can mark the upper slots. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a pen and my dial calipers and we are going to figure out how to do this. So what I'm going to do, just measure the difference from the bottom of one to the bottom of the other. When I tighten the bolts down, I will have the same adjustability top to bottom. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure from the middle of that hole to the middle of this hole, scrap a line. Same thing over here. X marks the spot. I'm gonna get a center punch, punch those, drill it out with a little drill bit, and then go the uh, go the right size. All right, beautiful. Now step up to our big drill bit. Let's put it on. All righty, she is on there. I was not able to get that top bolt on. On the inside, we had to drill directly through the brake pedal mount. When you drill through that, it's at a part where it's kind of got this funky bend and it's on an angle, so I need to get a longer bolt. Uh, I'm not too worried about it right now. Three out of four ain't bad. We're gonna go ahead and put the front clip on now. guys thanks for watching she's going back together it's a long slow tedious process but once we get there it's gonna be sweet